Wow, it has definitely been a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, 135 days to be exact. Well, there goes my phone. I'm here to actually give everyone a video update instead of posting over on community. It makes things a little bit easier. Um, but it has been a while. Uh, this is the first time you're seeing me on camera. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Um, so it definitely has been just a little bit since I've been on here. And for those of you who are, you know, keeping up with community notes and stuff like that, that I've been posting on the channel, you'll know that I got super sick, uh, this year. Um, this year in general has just been kind of a shit show, uh, with health and all that sort of stuff. It's not, not been fun really. Um, I'm on a lot of medications. I have to avoid the sun for the most part. Um, and I've just been inside. I'm getting better though, and that's really what matters. So, you know, but as far as an update to the car and everything, um, there was a slight bit of a problem throughout the year. I was working on the car and actually was getting stuff done on it. Um, especially like I said, if you saw over on community notes, I have a bunch of posts over there of just slowly upgrading it and all that. Um, during this time, I wasn't really. You know, since I couldn't be outside for too long, I didn't really record any of it. I just kind of, it, it was one of those things where I wanted the car to run. So I just kind of put the phone aside and I just worked on the car um, and took like photos as I went and stuff like that. Uh, so I have, so I have that and everything, but yeah, so I wasn't able to record a lot of it. And eventually this led to me actually getting the car done. As you saw in the beginning of the video, it was running, I was driving it. It was a hell of a good time, to be honest. I I loved getting in it and actually firing that car up. It was, it was something for sure. Um, but I ran into a slight bit of a problem and I should have seen this coming. It was something that I tried to slide under the table and just kind of bypass and uh, it kind of came back to bite me in the ass, to be honest. So what you're seeing on my screen here is a view of the underneath of the car. Uh, this right here is your oil metering pump. And then you have the sewn adapter. And then, of course, that connects into the engine. Um, the problem with this is when I was first working on it. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and point any fingers or play the blame game or anything like that but the bolt that goes right here uh was broken it was it snapped right inside of the engine base here and like i said i'm not gonna point any fingers i don't know if the person who sold it to me broke it i don't know if it was the person before that because the engine has 60 some thousand on it so i don't know who broke it i don't know the story um but the bottom line of it is it's broken and it's snapped off there's no ridge either it's snapped off clean inside uh to the point where it's a decent bit hard to get out i tried to get it out while the wheel was off i tried to put like an extractor kit in there um and that's just not cutting it so the bottom line of this is that engine is going to need to come out which sets me back by a ton i mean this entire year working on the car and putting all these upgrades into first of all first of all ripping everything out and then putting all everything back in all the upgrades and all that good stuff um and like i said i thought i could slide underneath i saw it there i thought i could just maybe bypass it and maybe it'd be okay for now um I learned very quickly that it wasn't. Uh, it was definitely not okay, and uh, I should have changed it, but I took a risk with it, and um, for that I'm paying for it. But anyway, so I drove the car. It was feeling actually pretty good. You know, it can shift through all the gears perfectly fine. Um, car felt good on power even. Everything was feeling very nice and very good. Um, the problem arose when... I went out, took it for a test drive after two days, two or three days. I was running the car, 
and everything was going fine. And then it was having a problem where it wanted to die on me. It was roughly idling. It was barely holding idle. Um, I remember getting to a stop sign, uh, driving up the road, and it actually stalled out on me. And then um, I was able to start it up, though, just fine. It kicked right back over. There was no real, like, hesitation or anything. It just started right up like it was nothing. Uh, so I drove it a little bit more, and it was still being a bit rough. Um, so, of course, I brought the car back home and went underneath and saw there was a lot of what looked like coolant, or not coolant, oil leaking out. And so I was like, okay, where where's the oil coming from? Because from everything I saw, everything is perfectly fine. Um, I didn't see any leaks. Like, the, the first time I test drove it, there were no leaks at all. Uh, it wasn't until the second time that I took it out that this started to be a problem. So... The first time I took it out, I believed everything was perfectly fine because there was nothing there. Um, but of course, like I said, the second time is when it started happening. Uh, so I went underneath the car and from what I saw, I saw it dripping out, but I couldn't tell where. So I eventually got the car jacked up and I saw that up on here, I saw that the Sony adapter was actually shifted it had shifted forwards because that bottom bolt wasn't on. So, uh, to tell you a little bit more what I'm talking about here. So, if we do this. So, you're looking at this for your connector, right? So, it goes like this. It curves here at the bottom. Curves here at the top. And then this goes over here. And then it like bends and comes down here like this. So this is kind of the basis of what you're looking at on what the oil metering pump or the sonar adapter is connecting to. So this is looking at it straight on. So you have bolt hole here, a bolt here, and a bolt here. And then your opening for to inject the oil is right in here um so this bolt is filled right so essentially what happened was the sonar adapter was connected and instead of being in line sonar adapter was like here so this was just allowing the oil that was being injected to come right down here and go this way and all out underneath the car so, uh, that would explain the oil that was sitting everywhere, um, <laughs> which was a lot of fun to clean. But yeah, so that ended up shifting, and that was throwing my uh, error codes and basically getting my rough idle and all that. So that's fun. Um, and like I said, originally I thought, okay, maybe it's a part I can replace, but then as I was thinking about it, no, this is, uh, you know, this is in the base of the engine. This is broken right in, I think it's this piece here, yeah. So this back piece right here, it's broken right there. So there is no, you know, fixing it from the inside or extracting it. It's, this engine has to come out, all right? Now, normally that wouldn't be an issue. The problem is, I don't have all this money to be dishing out on this car. And I do not have the funds for this. Um, I don't have an engine hoist. And even then, once it's out of the car, I know when I bought it, um, the compression numbers weren't in the hundreds. So it's like, okay, at that point, I may as well do a rebuild. And that's going to cost however many thousands of dollars. And at that point, it's like, alright, I need a car. Because currently... I don't have a car <laughs> so it's do i you know put the money into you know fixing this engine right now and getting this car up and running or do i go out and buy you know something like a miata which i've always wanted and have that as a daily um 
and then turn the RX-8 in, into either uh, a weekend car or turn it into a track car, which I would love to do. Um, but the, the whole bottom line of it is, I don't have the funds to do this right now. And the RX-8 is going to sit for a while. There's nothing I can do at this point. Um, besides, like, like I said, I would need to buy an engine hoist. I don't have one. Uh, but I would need to get that out. I would need to hope that I can take that bolt out. Um, and then figure out what I can do as far as rebuilding and all that. And, of course, I never rebuilt an engine before. So maybe on the little bit of a tricky side. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on at the moment. Uh, essentially, you know, as much as I want to put stuff out for this car, as much as I want to be working on this car, because I, I like, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love working on this thing. But it's one of those things where, you know, it's financial over car it's in two different categories all right and uh i'm choosing the more important one i'm choosing the financials so i'd rather have that than you know keep shuffling money into this car so it's going to sit for a bit and the project is basically going to go on hold which like i said i feel bad all right <laughs> like don't get me wrong i feel pretty bad considering we hit I think it's 505 now and I you guys have stuck with me this long which is pretty cool but without being able to work on the car I can't put things out so you know it's it's a pretty tough spot to be honest and it's also one of those things where hopefully you know I I do want to continue this this isn't just something I'm going to put to the side and that's it and it's over and, you know, uh, screw the channels. No, nothing like that. This is a, it's just going to have to go on hold for however long. But it's one of those things that I can promise that will come back. It's not permanently going away. I want this channel to come back. I want to be putting out content. I, I want this channel to succeed even. Like, I had a lot of fun actually recording this stuff. I had a lot of fun going out and actually working on the car and getting to learn more about it. Because this is, besides the, like, red parts car I have, this is the first time where I got hands-on with an RX-8. This is the first time where I got to, you know, really dive into it and and just tear it apart see what everything does see what everything's included in it and really just get hands-on with the car so it, it's been a learning experience and for that i'm very happy that you know i have the car and that i got the chance to be able to do it um and i'm looking forward to actually you know since i'm most likely going to be rebuilding the engine anyway um i'm looking forward to actually taking that engine out and getting to tear it apart rebuild it and all that i think that's going to be a lot of fun um it's just once again the finances need to be there so um so i know that this is you know disappointing people for the people who wanted to see uh like content come back i know this is uh it, it sucks essentially um and i'm sorry about it but there's nothing i can do so for now, I'm going to have to throw my problems on hold. Um, it sucks to say, but this is just the reality of it. Maybe I can still do the, you know, I have my wheel here. Maybe I can still do uh, racing streams, something like that, just to uh, keep content going and stuff like that. Because I love hopping on GT7, Assetto Corsa, uh, BeamNG, like all that I love hopping on, so... Um, that could be pretty fun. I do have the channel made for that called Garage 8. It should be on my channel, like at the bottom. Um, so you can find that there. Um, other than that, that's really all I have to say for now. Uh, the project's going on hold. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but, you know, I got to do what I got to do. So uh, thank you, everyone, everyone, for watching. All my 
you know, 505 subs. I, I saw 30,000 on one of the videos, which is crazy. Um, I thank you everybody for watching, liking the videos, all that. And I hope to see you guys again once I'm able to get the funds and once I'm able to start this project back up. And uh, hopefully you all still be with me. And I'll be glad to have you there as well. Um, so thank you everybody for watching. And I hope to see you next time.